It's your old buddy Michael Jip here playing Run 8 Train Simulator 3. And this is the A Line Episode 17. Okay, so we're here in Taft Yard and we are. Uh, yeah, we are in Taft Yard, right? Yeah, we are. Uh, and we are uh, taking the uh, cars, which we left off. We had a whole bunch of uh, well cars uh, out of the. Uh, QFC yard and then parking them over here because they all have to end up going to uh, what's the call <laughs> to uh, the Jacksonville ramp. That's what it is, right? And uh, if we look at our map here, and then we do this right here. Here we are, right here. Here's run eight ninety six eighty nine. I think he's got a red. He might be waiting for. Or maybe he might be starting up because I just started the program up. So I don't. I don't know. Uh, there's us way over here. Uh, these are the ones we've already parked, the wells. Here are the wells here. Now, can we see if I zoom in? Can we see our engines? I got two ES44DCs. Why would I be using such big engines for doing this? I don't know. And if we look down... Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not do that. There we go. Look down here. Can we see the other train? Is that the other train? Is that the engine coming the other way? Uh, Yeah, it looks like they might be... Uh, it says they're run eight, but... It looks like they're, uh, what do you call that, uh, Union Pacific. Okay. Anywho. Okay, so we got those done. Now, we're going to, I didn't pull the train fire. I didn't clear this point. What am I, okay. So let's, uh, take the brakes off, right? Let's, uh, bleed the brakes. There they go. And they're down to zero. We're going to move forward. Uh, I could barely hear it. Put this into uh, forward, reverse her into forward, and give me a notch one. Just give me a notch one, see what we get. We have forward movement. Not back here yet. It's picking up the slack. Any day now. All right, here we go. I was uh, testing uh, the sound levels and everything before I record. You know, being professional. And I about blew both my eardrums out when I hit the horn. <laughs> and my engine. It was loud. All right, can I throw this now? Yes, I can. So let's uh, stop this. There we go. Uh, and now we want to put it into reverse. So the reverse or into reverse. Let's get it at notch one. Is that other engine coming up? Yep. It is not. Can I grab onto this? I can. Well, what do you know? You know, do I want to grab onto this side, though? Yeah, it's not going to make much of a difference. Uh, all right, so we're on our way now. Let's put it into notch two now that we're moving. Give it a little more oomph. we go. It's coming back up again. Yeah, we're going to run this one down as far as we ran this one down as far as we could. We'll run this one down as far as we can and we'll see uh, what that gets us. The speed limit here is 15 mile an hour according to my rail driver. And I'm, I tend to believe it. I tend to believe that that is the uh, correct speed limit. I think that engine is being held. That's what I think is going on. Oh. Wait a minute. I'm a moron. Because those engines I saw are not the engine coming down the track. Those are the ones I have in storage down here. <laughs> and they're just the, the yellow part of the uh, CSX. The yellow nose. All right. So let's take a look at this while we're waiting. I think he's held right here. He's got a, he's got a red light. Yeah. He's being held right here. So he's a ways down. Why, why is he being held way back there, though? Yeah, I don't know. No, no, I didn't want to do that. Okay, whatever reason. Here, I thought we were going to do a, a meat of, of some type, and it's... No. Just the storage engines. They aren't moving. There will be no meat. Alrighty, 
somebody wrote me on my <clears throat> one of my Run 8 videos, or maybe it was a, something else, that um, when I downloaded the upload, remember I was saying sometimes it's up here, excess of cars, you know, train too long, excess of cars are ignored. Somebody said they did that on purpose. They noticed that too many trains were coming out of the route that were way too long, so they tried to cut down on the length. I don't know if that's because people were, you know, having a hard time on their server keeping up with the load of cars coming in or what the deal was. I appreciate that input, so I know it's nothing wrong on my end necessarily. It's something that they designed into it. If you hadn't noticed, I've, I've been applying brake here. There we go. All right. Is this good enough? Yeah, this is... This is good enough. Now we're going to run back this way. In fact, we're going to fly back. Let's fly. It's faster. Okay, so we still got a ways to go yet. We're going to fly right down here. Let's land. All right, now this should be far enough apart, right? Oh, yeah. Plenty. Okay, now last, last time I was trying to unhook these. I did everything right except uncouple them. No, it's embarrassing. All right, so we're going to, we are going to keep the angle cock open here. We're going to set the handbrake, and then we're going to open the coupler, which we cannot do. So we're going to need a bump. Give me a bump. Release the brakes. There we go. Bleed that off. Thank you. I'm still in reverse, so if I give myself a bump now, put it in notch one. Just got to be patient. There it goes. It's going up. There it is. There's our bump that we've been waiting for. All right. Now we're going to come over here. We're going to open the coupler. Very good. Then we're going to come over here. We're going to open the coupler. We're going to close the angle cock so the air don't leak out and we lose our brakes. Now we're going to throw it into forward. And then we're going to put it in notch one. This should work now. Of course, I've said that many times. We got some forward movement. Look at that. Look at what happens when you pay attention. All right, so now we're going to come up here. And we're going to put them down the next track, which is going to be this one right here. All righty. Let's throw it in the neutral. We got a good glide going here. There we go. Tell Smiling Joe to stop here in just a moment. That'll do. Flip that switch, grab onto here, put it in reverse. There we go. Take the brake off. There we go. And let's put it in notch one going backwards. There we go. Let's put it in notch two. Give ourselves a little more oomph. And let's take a look what's going on with that other train. No, he's still being he's being held there. I'm 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 fairly confident of it now. Another train coming up here. Yeah, CSX. It's gonna be a while before he gets here. There's nobody coming from the other direction. So yeah, yeah. Alright, here we go. Got a little more speed this time as we have a lot fewer cars on. It's easier for the engines. Can we see the engines up there yet? No, I don't see them yet. <laughs> I may have to actually put on the slow speed this time. I think we're going to hit 15 mile an hour here. Slow speed. That's control C for those of you who are scoring at home. All right, we'll run this one all the way down. I was unaware we could unload this many uh, well cars at one time. I thought we well, might fit it on one, maybe two tracks maximum. And here we are in the third track. We may need a fourth. Let's 
So that's why there's so many tracks here. All coming together. So we're done here at the Taft Yard. Then we're going to go back and check the Jack's Duval Yard. I got them all here in my spreadsheet. Then we do the Cayley Yard, the Moncrief Yard, Orlando Utilities, Pecan Yard, Rams Yard, Rice Yard. We're back to this yard. All right, let's throw that in neutral. Give us a little auto break, little independent break. Here we go. Everything's going scary good right now. All right, nope, no, wrong key. There we go. Well, now, this one could be backed up a little bit more. Yeah, how about we back this one up a little bit more? Get off those brakes there. There we go. Give me a little bit more. It'll move here. There we go. Oh, okay. Give me two. Give me notch two. There we go. It's, you know, there's other times when I kept saying, well, I got to hit F7. Maybe I just wasn't patient enough. <clears throat> I really didn't need to hit F7. Okay, so let's do the old fly back. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, we're just going to be short. <laughs> the bell's still going. Stop. Uh, okay, yeah, we're going to have to disconnect these last two cars. What we're going to have to do here and just run them onto the next track. All right, what do we got here? <clears throat> yeah, we got too much coupler strain. Let's uh, set this. And then uh, give me a bump. Just a little bit. You can do it. There you go. Thank you. Open the coupler. Come over here. We'll open the coupler. And we will close the angle cock. And then uh, how about we go forward now? I have been blowing the horn, have I? Heck is my problem. Two for forward, three for backwards, people. That's how it's done. Look at that. Now I'm beginning to wonder why I had such a hard time the last time we played. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, let's take it out. Put it back in neutral. We're going fast enough as it is. There we go. Let's hit some indie break here. Slow your roll, baby. There we go. All right. Now we're going to back it up. And when we back it up, we're just going to clear that second... Uh, that second well car past the frog here. All right. So let's uh, throw it into reverse. There we go. Kill the break. Here we go. She's dead. Put her in reverse. Oh, how this is bringing joy into my life. <laughs> you really got to be into railroading to, uh, to enjoy doing exactly what I'm doing right now. Just moving cars around, getting things sorted. That's all. I've been playing this for so many years now. I mean, not Run 8. Run 8 I've been playing for maybe four or five years. Uh, but different railroading games and, and things like trains, railroading simulators. I've, I've convinced myself I just really like it. Because otherwise, why would I do it so much? All right, let's set that. Whoop, whoop, yeah, about, come on. All of it gone. Not, not just one. There we go. I'm talking about the brake pressure. It was at one. I let it. Here we go. Open the coupler. Come over here. Open the coupler. Close the angle cock. 
Now we're going to move forward. Noise. This time we're going to jump on. We're going to clear the next switch. And when we clear the next switch, we're going to ride all the way back down. And we're going to throw these engines on that storage train. That's what we're going to do. Oh, no, that's not the... That will start hitting the brake a little too early. We're going to hit it after this one. Oh. There we go. All righty. Come over here now. Throw this switch. Switch galore, baby. Here we go. Now we're going to back it up. One, get rid of that. There we go. Brake cylinder wasn't empty. I don't like that. Here we go now. Take another ride down the other side of the yard. Now, while we're taking a ride, we are going the right track, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's see if they've given the go. They haven't. This one's just still sitting here. Is he waiting to get into Kaylee Yard, maybe? Well, maybe because this is thrown. Yeah, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Because there's a manual switch back there I got to throw back. How can I tell that? Well, I've said this before, but let's take a look. Someone taught me this, too. Because this is pink. This is pink up here, which is a manual switch, but I'm not understanding why that would be pink. Because it's way off the road here. Off the main line, as far as I know, right? Now, this, maybe it's... Oh, wait a minute. Let's throw that back like that. Throw that like that. There we go. Override him. Yeah, see, it's still pink here. Let's, uh... Yeah, we gotta, we gotta fix that, right? We can't leave... The manual switch... Switched into the yard. That's not right. It's gotta be this one right here, right? Yeah, here it is. Here it is. We gotta switch it back for mainline service. I lost my mind. Let's take a look at it now. It still says pink. Maybe this is not... Well, this one's normal. Or maybe it's up here. This one's normal. Oh, yeah. I think maybe it's up here, too. I think that switch I just thrown did not need to be thrown. Not, not that it's going to hurt that I did throw it. Uh... Is there another manual up here? This is a long walk. Is it right after the... Oh, I think it is. I think it's right right up here, isn't it? Yep, here it is. This is the one. Hey, Mo. Throw that back over. Now, let's take a look. Look at that. That's just really, really nice. Now, what is this one up here? I don't get it while that one's pink. Uh, Beavis? Let's, uh, I should figure that out though, because that may be, that may stop, that may stop some flow. Right? It's, it can't be this right here. It's not this right here. Is it this over here, maybe? Well, it might be this one right here. Yeah, this, this might be it. <laughs> Let's see. Let's throw this one. Here we go. What do we got now? Oh. Is this where I'm at right now? Oh, geez. Stop doing it. Where's the CTC switch around here? Oh, that's a manual. That's a manual. Oh. What? Okay, so let's run back this way. These are all manuals this way. I'll be right with you. Come over here. Uh... Here we go. Here's these. Let's stare at these CTC switches so it'll tell us where we are in the map now. I'm staring at it. Where are we, map? I'm right here. So it's up here somewhere. It's not. God, why do I keep doing that? Uh, it's up here somewhere. Is this what the problem is? So this one here is switched. 
and it needs to be the other way because that's considered to be the main line. That's what that, they look. It is switched to reverse. Careful, I get run over out here. Okay, now let's look at it. Look at that, and look at that. Huh? He's running through now. <laughs> I figured it out. Wasn't that hard? Well, ever since that person told me what what that means, it's not, not been that. All righty. Now, here's another question I have. Is this train coming up here really long, or is it a shorty? It's 4,000 feet long. It's almost a mile long, so it's not a shorty. I don't know where he's going. I think this goes off map over here. Pretty sure. Uh, so he's headed off map, which is fine. All right. Let, let's go on this side so we can see it when it goes by, if that, you know, so presents itself. We do a pass. I don't know if we're going to or not. All right, we're going to back it up here. There we go. On our way back. Oh, in trains, you can put your cursor over the top of the uh, signal. It'll tell you why it's indicating what it's indicating, but uh, you can't do that in this program. Which is fine. Of course, in trains, they don't have a dispatch screen. Unless you zoom way out on the map, I can consider that to be a dispatch screen. All right. So this, by the way, for those of you uh, paying attention, this is uh, local A775. We're working right here right now. Like I said, I'm going to go through all the yards. I go through yard one by one uh, to, to work different trains and get different cars moving in the right direction, run all the locals and all that stuff. Uh, obviously, in real life... Uh, you couldn't run a railroad this way. You'd run out of uh, a lot of things would be delivered late and everything. But we're just doing it for funsies. And now, technically speaking, we can just pop these switches, right? I don't have to get out and throw them. Is that bad railroading? Right? Because we'll just bing over the top of it. We'll bing over the top of it. Slow down because I was scared. Okay. Well, a little bit. I didn't slow down a whole lot. Okay. Here we go. Run down this way. This is still a yard track here. Those are the two main lines over there. Well, I think only this one's considered to be a main line. What, what's it show on the uh, thing right here? I think there's only one main line. I don't know if this is, this is more of a uh, passing track. Why is it in dash lines like that? Because it's going to be a yard? Or is this the Taft yard here? I didn't think so. All right. Now, we may have to wait for this train to come here before we can get our train back on the uh, on the track here. See, this track here dead ends. It's just the storage track, or that's what I'm using as a storage track here in Taft. Here's that Union Pacific I was talking about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do? Okay. Go. Put it back in neutral. Now these are fine. This one's actually are set correctly. Close this one and this one is not. We're going to slow down for this one because uh, we may have to do uh, stop, I should say. We have to do some finagling. All right, so we'll throw this switch correctly now. Now, can I see that train coming up yet? Nope, but it's a corner. I'd like to put this one, these two, onto here. Uh, 
uh, but there's not going to be enough room for it. So we're going to move these two trains back. Are these trains tagged as anything? This is uh, Q177. It's hard to see. Read the bottom. This is none. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do here now is we are going to relinquish the train because I want to move these two up. Yeah, I was moving these around uh, before so I could get two engines uh, back to back. That's, that's what was going on. Okay, so we're going to auto start all of them. Yeah, why not? I don't have time to go in there and flick all them but buttons and switches. Take a look at what or what's his name is. He's coming. He's got he's got he's cleared all the way through here. All these yellows are for him. Okay. Brady. Sounds like they're both running. Are these both uh 70 aces? Looks like it. The lightning bolt is a dead giveaway. It means AC. All right, so uh, turn on the front light here. <clears throat> there we go. And let, let's do all this, too, just to be safe. This, this, and this. Okay. Oh, kill the handbrake. Charge everything nicely. Then I just want you to bring it up, and I want you to connect down to these. That's, that's what we're going to do. All right. See if I got everything set up now correctly. I'm going to go forward. Here's some cycling up action happening. Here he comes. Makes me want to go back to those videos where I had so many problems getting the engines to go. It doesn't seem that hard right now. Maybe I'm just really lucid right now. I got a good night's sleep last night. A little hungry. So, you know, it sharpens the senses. Okay. Now that should be enough room for those two engines. I think. Uh, yeah, that should be enough room. All right. So I'm going to come back over here and we're going to say, uh, kill it, baby. And put on your uh, handbrake. Where's the handbrake? Uh, handbrake. Here we go. And then on this, we're going to kill the engine. Put on the handbrake. Okay. Then we're going to come up here. And we're going to say relinquish. And then we're going to grab onto this one. Again. Now, how close is this train now? <clears throat> Problem is, I don't know exactly. When I was there, right? I mean, I was just here. So I'm going to be here in this area. I think I'm right here. I think I'm right here in this area. So, like, he's coming up. Is there, there's got to be a CTC switch up here somewhere, right? <laughs> there's not. I thought for sure there would be. Is he coming? All right. I don't I don't see him. Uh, I think he's going to come right down the middle here. I'm just nervous. Yeah, there's no way we're going to be able to get both these engines on this little track right here. So what if... Uh... He, 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 these you yeah, have no idea how far away he is looking at it from here uh okay so you know what we're gonna do is uh normally you could call the dispatcher i would think at this point right and say hey i want i want to get out on the main line here and there's a way to do that as well well let's see where is he here he comes here oh it's a coal it's a coal now. Okay. So he is he's he's got a little speed going with him here. Uh maybe maybe we should uh yeah, let's let's play it safe. We're gonna we're gonna wait for him to come by. Uh so uh yeah, we're gonna wait right on this side of the track with it. I'll be able I'll be able to see it quicker this way. I gotta wait till he passes anyway, so what difference does it make? Alright, so I'm gonna put you guys on pause until this meet happens. And here she comes. A couple of run eight engines. They kind of look cool. I kind of like it. Whoops. <laughs> I automatic. I, 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 for, sorry, I hit pause by mistake. 
Well, kind of screen probably jumped there a little bit for you, but you're going to see, oh, he's moving. He's hauling. Woo, stand back. Some of them got yellow boxes on them. Some of them got green boxes on them. You know what something I'm tempted to do is see if I can get up close to it and if it would let me grab onto one of these cars as it goes by. <laughs> oh boy, this is really dangerous. Yep, it, it, it worked. Jump back off. <laughs> yeah, I got arms of steel. I've been really pumping the weights lately. And when the car comes by, I just stick my hand out there. I don't care if it's doing 45, 50 mile an hour. My arm gets yanked out. That's why I got to. Now I'm disappointed I hit the pause so you guys got that jump in your video. Sorry, I apologize. There we go. Should have an EOT on this. Yep. There it is. That was cool. All right, so now we're going to come over here. Uh, this is set correctly, and I just got to come over here and set this one so we don't derail ourselves. Okay. We'll go to, we'll, we'll, after we're done doing it, we'll see if, if I really need to do that or not. Well, yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> I mean, I know I needed to do it. Okay, well, let's not, I'm going too far into it now. Now I want to put this thing into reverse, right? Yeah. Back it up. Get that brake cylinder down to zero. There we go. We just got to clear this switch right here. And then these engines will be stored and we'll be ready to move on to our next uh, our next assignment. Which I already told you was going to be in a jacks to ball. All right. We'll slow that down just like that. There we go. Now, as I was saying, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, he came by on this track here, didn't he? No, he came by on this track right here. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. He came back. I see. Yeah, yeah. There's, yeah. We, we, he'd have rammed into us. Now, I, I, it'd be another curious thing is, uh, would he have rammed into us or would he have stopped? I don't know. I don't know what would have happened there. Okay. So now. No, 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 no. You already threw that switch. Bring it back. There you go. All right. So let's grab onto this. Now we're going to go forward. There we go. Give me some notch one. Uh, turn, take off the brakes. There we go. Small, small detail. All right, so we're hanging on to the uh, stairs here. Put right through here now. Go back in neutral. We'll do some coasting. A lot of coasting in trains. Go, I slow it down to about five so I can jump off. Jump off. Witness the coupling. Bad. Boom. Nice. All right. And yeah, look at that. We have more than enough room. So what we want to do now is... Now, his light is still on up front here. Yeah, it is. We want to kill the light. There we go. Down to nothing. Come over here and say... Uh, kill the engine. Set the handbrake. Come over to this one. Here, it purrs like a kitten. 12-ton kitten, but still. Put that, put that. Okay, there we go. All our stored engines here at Taft, and we are all set, baby. You know what we're going to do one last time, too, just because I feel like it? So there's our stored engines here that have brought trains in. We're going to come down here, and we're going to say, look at the... This is what we did. We put all these uh, cars in the yard. And is there anything else over here? This is where we took them from. No, there's nothing waiting over here. There's nothing going on over here. Okay. Very lovely. Uh, so that is the end of A775. Is that, that, was this one? that is the end of A775. Yep. 
Uh, let me put you guys on pause. I'll figure out what we're doing next. So here we are, as I promised, at the Jax Duval Yard. Now, the train that I'm going to be working with is actually, according to my spreadsheet here, is the shunt, which are, which are these engines right over here. There's my shunt engines. Now, there's all kinds of things going on here. Uh, these engines here, this engine here is from, is this from, okay, this is the Jax Duval Road Train. So this one probably just, or just did come back from the Rice Yard and pulled all these from Rice Yard. That cut he's got on him there. Uh, this train here, as you can see, is the Rice Yard Road train, which also brought things from Rice Yard. So we're kind of doing double duty, which is good because all of these all of these cars right in here all have to go back to Rice Yard. <laughs> and we got a lot of them. So we got to start, and, and these two trains here are going to do us a lot of good because uh, uh, the road train for Jax Duvall can run them over there. And then this one has to go back to Rice Yard, and he'll be taking those back. And he cars go back there too so we'll have two trains going back in that direction which is going to be helpful now um i know that these cars have to go back because if i bring up the car tags the destinations you see here uh these over here and these two tracks here say jacks jdr that's where they have to go uh but these over here are all see this montreal louisiana all of these tpa was that tampa and that's that's those there. Okay, so let's uh, let's train stats. No, nope, let's turn it off. Okay, now these engines right here are all just stored engines uh, that I'm not using right now. Uh, but obviously, when these go back to the yard, they're gonna have to take some of these engines with them because these these loads are gonna be uh, very heavy. Now, like I said over here, on my shunning engines uh, here at JDR at Jax Jacksonville Duval Ramp. They load the auto racks, they load the well cars, they load the TOFC flat cars, and they unload refrigerated cars. Uh, now, these should all be... Are there any refrigerated cars in this cut here? You know what I should do is I should make sure these are all going where I think they're going. Uh, yeah, so you got uh, the FEC. Wait a minute. MTG, what's the FEC? Okay, so see, already I've got problems. So the, uh, these all appear to be Atlanta, Cincinnati. So these all got to go back and get humped at Rice Yard. That's that's what, what's going on there. Uh, I got to try to start cramming more and more cars onto these processing tracks. Uh, this is getting to be uh, ridiculous. Uh, the FEC. Uh, what at? The Florida East Coast? Is there a... Okay, I can figure that out. I can figure that out later. FEC. <laughs> okay, so anywho... Um, what I'll... Yeah, I'll have to figure the... Well, let me... Uh, I kind of need to do it now, though, because i got to move these. All right, let, let me put you guys on pause and figure out what the FEC is. Okay, so I figured it out. It's a good thing I did look it up. So these FECs are not going back. That's Florida East Coast, which I think I said already. I can't remember. But <laughs> these FECs are actually going to Moncrief because in Moncrief, they are going to be interchanged with the Florida East Coast. Uh, that's a railroad that's it's a, a class two railroad I just read online. It goes from Jacksonville to Miami. So it's like an interchange is what it is, the FEC interchange. Okay, so now the question is, is are there are all these auto racks FECs? Uh, Beavis? No, that, now this one here is an MTG. <laughs> I won't be the end of the world if I send some of them to the wrong place. I'm trying to do it right, though. So MTGs. Okay, so I got to remember that in the future. Everything else is going to be put on those tracks except for those uh, few... Uh, FECs. Okay, so now we have another engine uh, sitting right here. Uh, let's turn off the. Uh, how do you, how do you do that now? Right con no uh, right control F eight. No, that's industry tags. Left control F eight. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so they're off. Now this train here is is waiting to get into the yard. Well, it's in the yard, but it's uh, 
you know, it's got another train in front of it, so it stopped right here. Uh, and this one is QI-73, uh, and it was created on uh, the 9th of this month. Uh, and there's another train coming from the other direction, uh, and this is Q-178, and it came here on the 5th, which is good because I, I like that it puts a little tag on there because now I know which engine is service first. This one got here, or at least entered on the map first. So we're going to uh, process that one first. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come down here we we'll get as far as we can. I'm noticing we're coming up on uh, the video being done. Is we're going to come up here with this, these engines right here. Uh, let's set my board up correctly. There we go. Uh, my uh, rail driver, I should say. Okay, so we're going to come here. I'm going to have to relinquish my train. Train relinquish. There we go. Yeah. And then we're going to auto start these. Okay. So, yeah. So, uh, that kind of stuff. We got to research things. Uh, it's all part of the game. <laughs> I don't know if you want to, if you like it or not, but that, that's what it is. Okay, so uh, now the question is, where am I going to put these FECs? Mm, mm, mm. That's a good question. Uh, let's do this. These, these, this is all going to the yard, and we're going to run out of room here. We're going to have to put some down on this side. So what if... We put the FECs on this real short track, and any other ones we had to put, we'll put on these ones right here. So this will be like our Moncrief yard. Uh, go into the Moncrief yard thing. Alrighty then. Of course, now now I'm thinking in the hump yard, is there something for the FEC? I don't I don't think so, but there should be. Uh. Yeah, so now I'm thinking maybe they should go back to Waycross. I know sometimes they do that. I mean, it's, it's actually closer to run it right over to Moncrief. We're pretty close to Moncrief right now. Um, but maybe not. <laughs> Is this interesting watching of me thinking about what the heck I'm going to do? Okay, so let's go here then. We'll start. We'll do this. We'll do this. We'll do this. We're going to pull these ones over here on this side first. Anywho, so everything I'm saying right now. I hit pause again. <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? Okay. Uh, here, I wanted to hit F12, not uh, F10. There we go. Okay. So uh, now we are going to uh, turn on the light on this one. Ready? And we're going to throw these into reverse. Uh, and do the brakes. Should be backwards on this thing. On these engines now, the, the uh, bell does not turn on automatically. Oh, yeah. Got to turn off the brake and everything. There we go. Doesn't automatically ring the bell when you do the horn. I'm gonna do F5, F7. There we go. <clears throat> now we're gonna run these all the way up so we can put them onto that track on the far side, the far side of this yard right here. Uh, so this one's set correctly. Throw it forward. Bleed off the brakes. And well, I should have blew it three times. I backed up there, but, well, who's counting? Besides the Yardmaster. Alrighty. Notch one's not going to get it done. It's too heavy. <clears throat> Let's put it in notch two. Getting somewhere now. I don't have an EOT on here, so I don't know when that's going to start moving. I figure once we get it up near two mile an hour, that should be safe enough for notch two, right? Without breaking any couplers. I've never broken a coupler on this map. I, I have played the uh, California map, and when you're going up and down the mountains, I was breaking couplers left and right. I was thinking, wow, this, this game's really easy. I'm breaking all the couplers. Oh, you're not supposed to break the couplers. Oh, then this game's really hard. All right, now let's see. This one should be set already for reverse. It is. Should be good going up here now. Can't really see behind us. Not yet, anyway, until we get more around this corner, maybe? Not sure. Alrighty. Just gotta do some moving around there. Now we can see behind us. Here's our train right there. That one here is not part of our train. All 
Alrighty. And then this one here. Yeah, so that one's reversed. That's right. These two are normal. We're going to want to pass this switch right here, actually, so we can get them back onto this track here. Oh, we don't. But if I slide it into neutral. I gotta get off here. Oh, I also should be coming over here, shouldn't I? I should be on this side. Here we go. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. And I'm sure I'd be fumbling around with that for a while. But you're able to crawl over to the other side here. That's nice. So you'll be on the right side so you can see what's going on. Doki. Still going a little fast. 7.2. What if we add a little break here? I'm doing only a indie break here. The auto. More. Hear him squealing just a little bit. There we go. Five mile an hour. Jump off. <clears throat> Take the brakes off. There we go. Throw it back into notch two, let's say. All right, yeah. So these engines I'm going to be pulling off here, uh, I'm going to have to get those two uh, road engines out of the way. Uh, and the engines I'm pulling off, uh, I'm going to put over on the storage tracks temporarily. But then I'm going to have to start putting more cars onto these tracks, not just one cut each, because uh, it's starting to pile up. So we need to process as many cars as we can at a time to uh, speed up the process. Here. Put it in match three. All right, so this is, this is going to be a while, <clears throat> a little bit anyway, until uh, we get this whole uh, cut through here. So I'll put you guys on pause till we get to the uh, end of the cut. And the end of the cut is coming up here. All right. I actually had it up to notch four to get it to go to 15 mile an hour. <laughs> that was unexpected. I didn't think I'd have to get it that high. I thought notch two, maybe notch three. But this is a heavy train. Yeah, there's the end of the cut right there. All right. We're going to want to do some auto brake on this thing. A lot of weight going by. Apply it now. Auto brake a little bit. Get some indie brake in there to help out. I'll probably slow down too late. Time is hard to judge. There we go. Now I got now I got a lot of brake on. Might not be bad. That's what we want to throw right here. Oh look at that. That's pretty good. Would a real railroad or stop it right here? Two ties away? I don't know. Okay. Uh, so now we are going to uh, put it into reverse. There we go. We're going to kill all our brakes. Bleed them off. Bleed them off. There we go. I'm holding it. Nothing's happening. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to back this sucker up. I heard it. I don't know if you heard it or not, but I heard it. Okay. Uh, it's probably going to have to go into, uh, yeah, notch two. It's, it's just too much weight. There you go. Notch two. Let's take a stroll back this way, see where we're going to put these suckers. All right, I got it in notch two. It's still not moving. Really? There we go. Something happened there. It's moving now. <laughs> I hit the F7. Let's not have that discussion. All right, so he's coming this way. That's right. Then this one's coming this way. That's correct. Then we'll just take a nice, easy stroll down this way as it's coming up behind us. Probably should not walk right down the middle of the tracks like that. This is extremely dangerous. But I'm a risk taker. All right. So then, speed it up a little bit. Uh, we're going to want to come down this track. Yeah, these are all full here. All of these tracks are full. We got a ton of, got a ton of cars here. All right, we got this one's all full. 
These two are all full. Am I looking at these right now? Yeah, I am. Okay. Uh, this one's full. Yeah, I kind of thought I would already hit. This this is where we're going to end up. We'll put a few cars on here. Then we're going to have to use this to get over into the other part of the yard. It's over on either side that I showed you earlier. All right. Yeah. A whole lot of piggybacks. That's a cool shot right there. I like that. Okay. So now we'll run back up with the train. Rechecking my switches as I go. Everything looks dandy. All right. Right here. We can grab on. There we go. Now we can throw it into notch three. Get it going a little bit faster. I'm looking over at now, but I, I I've been thinking about the FEC thing. FEC might be because you can program the hump yard. I've mentioned this before. You can program the hump yard to be anything you want it to be. So normally the FEC. Yeah, see, but that's the thing. I'm, I'm thinking again, whether I'm going to send those FEC cars back to uh, Waycross, to Rice Yard, or am I going to send them right there? Sending them right there, again, makes more sense. And I don't think the FEC, in fact, I know the FEC, I looked it up, uh, is, is not in my hump yard anyway. So, yeah. So we're we're gonna we're gonna send them up to uh, Moncrief. That's what we're gonna do. That'll be a job for uh, the uh, road train. I have on my uh, spreadsheet here that the Jacksonville road train is in Folkston. It's not right, right? right here. I'll have to check that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a lot to keep track of, but again, as I've said in my trains video, and I probably said it here too, I'm only one person. Hundreds, perhaps even thousands of people. Well, it, definitely thousands in uh, CSX run the railroad. They all have specific jobs. I gotta be every person on this railroad. It's not an easy thing to do. We're applying brake. We're applying brake. It's looking good. Slowing down nicely. To below five. Kill all the brakes. We'll jump off. Lead off. Ba bail the brakes. Okay. Stop too early, but that's all right. I'm going to go down here. Give me some action. Nope. Give me some action. I got it notch three now. It's going back down. Zero. Hit F7. And then it goes up. Yellow brakes. There we go. Now we got some action. Should be good right there. Back in the neutral. Good deal. Stop. Okay. Alrighty. Now we're going to come back up this way. And we're going to say, where's the cut going to have to happen? This one might be good enough. I don't know. Is this one far enough away, do you think? Yeah. Yeah. This one definitely not. All right. So we're going to come here now. Uh, look at that. It's already set up for this, too. We can uh, set the handbrake, open the coupler. Come over here, open the coupler. Uh, close the angle cock. Put her in forward. Kill the brake. Bail the brake. Close. It's bailing now. And let's go forward. Notch one. Give me some notch two. Uh, 
Be able to do it. Notch three. Golden pig service. <laughs> this, there's a lot of slack action in this thing, huh? Come on. Here it comes. There we go. All righty. Okay, but you know what? We've gone we've gone over. We're in the butter zone right now. That's the zone in which I like to quit my video between 45 minutes and an hour. Uh, we are done uh, here with episode 17. Now, what we're going to do the next time, we're going to continue with the shunt here. Uh, we are going to uh, run these cars right here now because this yard is full. we got no more room in this yard. We're going to run these cars down the bypass here, all right down here. And we're going to start sticking them onto these tracks right here. Now, ha cha cha cha. Yeah, I want to come down. I'm going to be careful because. Can I get over onto that other side? I cannot. So I was thinking we, we want to be able to hit this one here too, but there's <clears throat> only cross over this way. There's no way to, no way to cross over here to this track. Uh, so we'll have to hope that everything fits on these tracks right here. If not, well, I'll have to dream up something. I don't know what yet. Uh, but we'll have to dream up something. Yeah. Okay. So that, but that's a problem for another episode, uh, for episode 18, as a matter of fact, really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I have a lot of fun and you know what I'm going to do, uh, after I uh, quit the video and after it's uploaded and everything, I'm going to go on to, uh, uh, my game. I'll probably play, uh, I've been playing medieval dynasty lately. I'm going to play that. And as I play that, I'm going to watch another YouTuber do trains videos. I'm inundated. Trains videos, run eight videos. I make them and then I watch other people do them. It's just a passion of mine. I love it. Why don't you subscribe? Why don't you uh, give me a thumbs up? Why don't you leave me a comment? And if you don't like the fact that my car management here at uh, Jack's of All seems to be, well, less than efficient, well, this just may not be the channel for you.